sight that you turned out this way, how do you think it I'd feel? I don't know what came over you. I should have known the moment you went to this college and went out to live alone. I should have known. I did the best I can. I don't know what else I can do anymore. How about being supportive? I'm not being so harsh on her listening. And by the way, you're her mother. You should know she's good at art and you should at least take her to an art college or something. You are a horrible person. No, mom's leaving. Let her leave. I want to tell her something. I didn't even tell her anything yet, but she's leaving. I'm tired of being concerned about you. I'm going to live my own life now. I thought you really would. What's up with this music? What is up with this music, people? This woman clearly does not deserve this. This, this type of music. And he drank you should feel happy. You'll be away from that horrible woman. She's degrading her. She's the reason he John is like this. Why is she like, lives more or less in a bubble. I don't like this woman at all, and I clearly do not like the way she just she just treated her at all. I'm sorry, but that that would bring anyone down. I'm surprised like she hasn't gone past you know the breaking point. Mum opened the front door. Just to let you know, the door closed. I stood alone in the empty living room. I didn't get to do anything, and I didn't get to say anything. Oh, don't blame yourself. I'm a horrible woman. Hey John. John was the first one to come home after Mom left. I could smell the strawberry shampoo that I bought for him. He's been using the shampoo that I bought for him. I have something to tell you. I could already guess what he was going to say. Although I knew I couldn't say anything. I'm going to leave this house now. <sighs> I feel bad for having you always taking care of me. I actually met someone nice. I looked up to see John's face. Someone nice? I know that all of us can't live forever like this. I should have been prepared to have them leave. If he had really met someone nice, it would feel more relieved. I knew that his words weren't true. Yeah, I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. But he's leaving. I can't see his bright, smiling face or him teasing other animals anymore. And everyone will eventually leave. Alright. I answer in a feeble voice. I knew it would be like this, but... You done? Are you okay? Gio nuts drew the concerned look on his face. Where's G Sue? Is he not home yet? G Sue. G Sue, the person who accepted me for who I am, the person who enabled me to find happiness in life. Well, when G Sue comes, talk to him. I don't think I'm the one whom you should talk to. Gio began to pack his belongings. He's leaving. The faint smell of oranges that lingered in the house is also leaving with him. Gio opened the door. Take care. And the door closed. I was left all alone at home. I could hear nothing. And I'm, I am useless because I'm a failure. Why would she say, am I, oh yeah, am I useless because I'm a failure? <sighs> Dijon, I would just hug her right now. I really would. Mom and Dion, they were the people who were destined to stay with me. Mom. Mom didn't have faith in me until the very end. No matter how hard I try it, I can't do it. What am I supposed to do now? I, I think I did the best I can. How come I can't be happy? Why can't I become happy, no matter how hard I try? Why am I living this busy life, being so afraid of mom? I don't even have a goal. I don't even know what I want to do. Am I going to just cry and get a job? Am I just going to get a job anywhere? Am I just going to prepare for law school just as she told me to? I'm home. It's G. Sue. I could. I didn't feel like greeting him. So you cleaned up the whole house because of your mom? This place is totally clean. Hey, what happened to you? Will G. Sue also leave me one day? Will he stay with me until the very end and not abandon me? I wasn't sure. He might leave me one day just as mom and Gion did. One day he might disappear with a goodbye. G. Sue? Hey, what's wrong? What am I to do if you were to leave me one day? Gian left. What? So he eventually... Will you someday leave too? What? Are you going to leave like Gian too? Leaving me all by myself? Jisoo didn't answer. Why? Why are you not answering? You can just tell me that you won't leave, that you'll stay by my side. 
So you're really going to disappear like Jian. I waited for Jisoo. Still no, he won't answer. No way. Are you really going to leave? Someday? If that's the case then, if you're going to leave someday, just leave now. What? Don't make me attach to you even more. Just get out. Although my face is a mess from crying, I looked up to see Jisoo. Although I told him to leave, I was actually scared that he really will. I wanted him to give me a warm hug and tell me that he'll be by my side. But Jisoo didn't answer. He won't say that he won't leave. Why did you guys appear in front of me? I asked the question that was left unanswered again. What do you want from me? I couldn't do anything. I can't do anything for you. You won't get anything by staying with me. Why me? Why did you appear in front of me? You're going to end up being disappointed and leave anyway, so I'm going to be all alone once again. I felt completely lost and helpless. And I felt pathetic, screaming like a little kid as if to ask people to throw a pity party for me. It's fine. This is enough. What's good is... What good is it if you continue to stay with me anyway? Oh, jeez, what happened now? Oh, Christ, don't do that to me, May. Jesus grabbed my left shoulder and with force, he looked at me straight into the eye. In my eyes. You're really making me angry right now. Do you know that? I Apparently, I'm always making you angry, Jesus. I'm sorry for that. We're not going to be together forever anyway. Don't make me attach to you if you aren't going to stay with me forever. Don't make me like you. All of you will leave anyway. You're all going to leave me by myself, I know. So please. I don't want to get hurt anymore. I'm scared. It would have been... What? Who's saying that? this i don't even know i don't know whose voice i'm supposed to use it would have been better if you had disappeared without me knowing it who said that why are you suddenly acting like this is it because of jian i'm not going to let you go until you tell me jisoo always looked at me straight into the eyes and he accepts everything about me even when i cry even when i yell hysterically mom didn't look at me like that she left me without even trying i burst into tears I didn't mean to cry in front of him, but he just kept seeing beneath my eyelids. Stop crying. Tell me everything. Before I could stop myself, I spilled everything out. Why did mom... Mom? No matter how hard I try, why won't she accept me for who I am? Why? Am I not that good enough? I asked Jesus the question I'd been asking myself. Jesus seemed baffled in my words. Am I such a bad person? Is that why everyone is disappointed in me and leaves? Because I'm not good enough? Because they don't like me? Did I really do something that wrong? Am I wrong? All my hard efforts, were they all useless? No, that's not true. What are you talking about? Explain to me. Why won't mom love me? Why? Why won't she accept me for who I am when I'm really trying my best? Why did I become her failure? Failure? Don't say that. Snap out of it. Oh! Jesus shook me roughly. That made me come back to my senses a bit. Hey, tell me that one more time and I'm going and I'm going to get angry. I mean it. I could see his angry expression. Uh yeah, he totally looks angry. He's not he's worried. That is the look of a person who's worried. He's not angry, he's clearly worried. Are you okay now? I blinked my eyes twice. I could see Jisoo more clearly. His angry expression was nowhere to be seen. He looked very worried instead. Listen to me. It's not your fault that Jian went out. He had a complicated reason of his own. I don't know what happened between you and your mom, but calm down. <sighs> Why didn't you tell me anything until now? It's my problem, not yours. How can I tell you? It's something I've never told anyone before. Promise me. What? Promise me that you tell me everything from now on. Promise? Does that mean you'll listen to everything I have to say? I'm going to be worried if you don't. You look as if you're going to fall apart at any moment. I felt touched. I'm not sure if it's because it's the first time that someone had shown me this much care and concern, but...
No matter what you do, I will watch everything until the very, very end, I promise. What? That doesn't make any sense. No matter what you do, I will watch everything until the very end, I promise. Do you mean I will listen to everything until the very end? <sighs> no, I... No matter what you say, I will listen to everything until the very end, I promise. Thank you. Huh, promise me. Is it really okay? Jisoo won't hate me even if I tell him about myself. If you don't promise me, I'm going to kiss you without permission from now on. Huh? My face flushed. How, how can you say those words at a moment like this? My face must look terrible right now from all that crying. I looked up and saw Jisoo's face a little bit red too. What I mean is... It's okay to depend on me when you're having a hard time. Stop acting so tough. Depend on you? On Jisoo? You're not a superwoman and nobody's gonna give you an Oscar award for acting tough when you're secretly crying alone. I never... I never cried alone. I actually did cry alone a few times in my room. I was so nervous about my future and I felt sorry for myself for not being loved by my mom. Hey, I already knew for a long time. A long time ago. Jisoo hugged me. So you already knew? I felt ashamed and pitiful, but you just hugging me, tell me that it's okay. He says that he even accepts the ugly sides of me. Maybe I can tell Jisoo everything. Maybe it would be okay to pan on Jisoo, who accepts me for who I am, truly am. <sighs> I'm trying so hard to keep it together. Okay, we're gonna end it there. Oh, I'm not coping very well with this throat. I'm sorry as well, you know, I, like, I messed up some of, like, when I was reading it. It's just, that was, like, there was so much going on in that one event. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Her mom is horrible. And then Gion decides to leave at that moment. Come on. Well, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.